Today I'm going to talk about five things you should not do in Myanmar. And it's not like normal do's and don'ts that you usually read in general travel articles about Myanmar. Those do's and don'ts are more for like the convenience of travelers, like bring your mosquito repellent, and if it was like two years ago, bring your own cash because there was no ATM and something like that. But here I'm going to talk about what foreigners should avoid doing in for the convenience of locals. It's kind of like paying respect to the society for use and yep, let's get it started. I mean, you shouldn't walk over anything like books, journals, magazines, and newspapers and something like that. Reason is, I'm not sure why, but Myanmar people value the books a lot, although they don't really read a lot. And the thing you're trying to walk over may contain religious images and text. And here's the thing. I'm not too sure why, but it seems to me that most of the Westerners, regardless of their religion, seem to like Buddha's capture as a decorative item. They may be right in their views, like seeing the Buddha as a very charming Asian cool stuff to put at their doorstep or whatever. But for Buddhists, no matter how we understand Buddhism teaches peace, they will still feel offensive if they see Buddha images in any way unrelated. Okay, back to the point, a Buddha image in a random magazine may mean nothing for you, but if you happen to walk over anything in front of many other people, then that could be an insult to them. And I have been taught not to walk over any kind of books since I was very young, and now that I'm not in Myanmar, I sometimes don't really care if I am walking over books or not, but I'm going to show you how we usually do when we accidentally happen to walk over any kind of books back in Myanmar. So yep, if you are alone in your hotel room in Myanmar, then you can do anything you want obviously. But if you're with locals, you don't want to walk over any kind of books before that. You know that different countries have different culture, and in some countries, hugging is a gesture of greeting. But in Myanmar, which is still pretty conservative in some aspects, you cannot hug a lady friend even if. You have met her before, especially when her brother, father, husband, or boyfriend, or other male friends are around. It's almost like a common sense among visitors to Myanmar, yet there are some visitors who do not really want to follow this. They might not be aware that they have to take off shoes and socks at monasteries and borders or they might not want to be bothered. I don't know. In fact, I really understand that it's very inconvenient to walk the uneven platform under the super hot sunlight. But here's my advice. If you think you cannot do such things like walking with bare food, just don't go there. Just don't go such places and still relax with beautiful ways on and if you really like to go there just take off your shoes it's as simple as that and you will not be annoyed by hearing requests from whoever thinks you're not paying respect to their religion it's obvious i mean not only for pagodas and monasteries but also any kind of religious places like mosques, church Hindu temples or anything in the world would not welcome you in a super ultimate sexy clothes, right? But the thing is, many pagodas in Myanmar, including Shilugong Pagoda, became tourist spots and many visitors take those as the places for relaxation. And when I was back to Yangon in last December and went to Shilugong Pagoda, I saw many ladies reveling their cleavage and a couple sleeping on the ground, gazing at the pagoda and hugging each other. I mean, what it is, I just don't get it. I do wear shorts and skirts even in Myanmar, but I don't go to pagoda with these things on. And even if I do not have time to wear the traditional surround called tamain, I usually wear at least long pants. And I would not wear any kind of slatty clothes if I were to enter a church or a mosque. And I think it's some sense of respect or common sense and I totally understand that for Nen Myanmar it's not a big deal to have fun at pagodas but we also do hope little respect from the people visiting us. I mean I understand that different societies have different cultures and it might be a cultural habit to make noise to your enemy in some countries but in Myanmar it's really a nasty thing to do during a me, you know like or 
when you drink soup or something like that. We have been taught not to make noise during our dinner or lunch since we were very young, so we're so used to it. And I'm not sure for others, but for me, it's very hard to continue my lunch or dinner if someone starts to make such noise at the table. And I have to control myself very hard not to puke out anything I've eaten so far, and maybe many others. I know it's just a habit, but if you happen to visit to Myanmar and happen to go to a lunch or dinner with your local friends, just try not try not to make your mouth busy by making noise but by chewing food. That's about it. If you'd like to know anything about Nyaman culture or something like that, just leave your comments below and I'll try to address in our next videos. Ta-da!